Pelagonium grevillens is also known as Darinium. Pelagonium is multi-branched shrub. It can grow up to 1.5 meters. The leaves have hairy texture and strong rose smell, which makes it an alternative of other aromatic plants in essential oil production. First, thoroughly clean the hands with soaps and clean the bench with alcohol spray. Tools were prepared in advance. There were two cutting boards, razor blades, perlite -like box, and our source plant, several platinum in healthy condition. Spread the rooting hormone on paper to make it prepared for the comparison group. Carefully cut a portion of pelagonium stain from the top with blade. For four nose cuttings, count the number of nodes before cut, but exclude tip, which is not part of cutting. Rinse the stain cutting slowly with water to reduce the dirt and microorganism on leaf surface. For one node and two node cuttings, keep only one leaf per cut. Ten of each one node, two node, and four node cuttings were made in this experiment. Dig a hole in perlite for cutting, and then dip the root of stem into rooting hormone powder. Then carefully bury about two centimeters in dips. For the comparison group of four node cuttings. Also dip the stem into hormone, and use a stick to bury the stem about 2 cm in dips. Mark the label with number of nodes, treatment, name, and date. And then insert the label in perlite. Plant all other cuttings as the same manner, one node and two nodes cuttings were planted in the same box to optimize the space. Send all cuttings to mist frame with bottom heat. The result is observed after 6 weeks. Growing perlaginium in water is also known as hydroponic method. Oxygen is supplied by pumping air into water to prevent the risk of rotting. Steam cutting was done in the same manner as before. 20 of two nodes cuttings were collected, 10 with hormone and 10 without. For comparison group with hormone treatment, the steam was dipped into hormone and left on bench for one hour. After one hour, rinse off the residual hormone to avoid the influence of control group, which was not treated with hormone. Insert two to three cuttings in one pole so that they can be fixed in place. Connect hydroponic system back to air pump and then we can see the result after six weeks. Carefully dig out the palaginium cuttings from the perlite, and then rinse it with water. Compare one node and four nodes cuttings with hormone treatment. Four nodes cuttings has much more root system. The root volume for two nodes cuttings are commonly in between the root volume of one node and four nodes. One node cuttings without hormone has little rooting. Compare one node with hormone and one node without hormone, we can see hormone treatment can efficiently stimulate rooting. Two nose cuttings without rooting hormone has root developed more in vertical direction, but less branch in horizontal direction. Four nose cuttings without rooting hormone treatment has even less rooting than two nose cuttings. To check the rooting condition of hydroponic system, Simply take out the foam board and drain off the water. Hold the board in hand to avoid damage to root and take out the cuttings carefully 
with another hand. For two nose cuttings without hormone treatment, almost all of them have no root. Also, their leaves turn yellow, which indicates poor nutrient status. In contrast, all of the two nose cuttings with hormone treatment has root developed. Prepare 2 to 1 ratio of potting mixture with soil and perlite. Dig a hole in center and place the rooted cutting in. Plant 2 to 3 cuttings in each pot. Water the plant after finish all and take care of them regularly. Do you like your palladium potting? Take one from greenhouse and enjoy its lovely scent.